Welcome to This Week with Pastor Dino. I'm Dino and I'm standing here upstairs where they're doing some work behind me in the rose window room that's going to become an incredible classroom. Uh, apparently it's pretty dangerous back here. That's why the red tape is up. But I want to uh, start off this morning with a, a devotional. Usually I use scripture, but um, there's a hymn that uh, we're going to be singing uh, upcoming here next Sunday, but this hymn has been really on my heart, and I want to read these words for you because they're, they're beautiful. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Let's face it, folks. We need God's guidance right now. This is a tricky time in our lives. This is a tricky time in our society, all over our country. There is unrest. There is an absence of peace. We need God's guidance. It's a scary time for people who feel the sting of injustice. It's a scary time for those of us who watch the news. It's a scary time for those of us who fear going into the city for whatever riot might erupt. Friends, we need the guidance of God, of our Father who guides us with his hand and gives us peace by the power of the Holy Spirit in all circumstances. Let us ask him to guide us today. Thanks be to God for his love and guidance in our lives. Now let's take you on a tour of the building and show you some of the construction updates. Let's be honest with you, in terms of construction, this week is a lot of behind the scenes work, mostly on the fire alarm, but I will walk you around the building and show you a little bit about what's going on. Let's start over by the new offices and take a look. As you can see, there are fire cables, uh, sprinkler system, all that stuff's getting hooked up. There are fire alarm cables all over the place. It's gonna make our building safer. Let's go down to the sanctuary and we can see that some of the new paneling is starting to get installed to replace the old paneling that was crumbling. That'll be stained and, and made to match, which is great. I can tell you right now, I know which colors do match and which colors don't. So I'm sure you agree with me. And the roof is still getting put on. That's going to be a continuous process for the next couple of weeks. So that's what's going on in terms of construction updates. Let's tell you a bit more about what's going on in church life. Construction is ongoing, so we're still shut down and session will get together on Zoom in a few weeks to figure out exactly how we're going to proceed. We are still targeting the end of June as a time that we can finally get together. Now, the office is open, but it's hit or miss with air conditioning limitations and they're working up in the offices sometimes and they're doing plenty in the sanctuary. So the staff can't always be there nine to five right now. We're coming in as we can. We are happy to address your needs. Just shoot us an email or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out with anything you need. The food pantry is opening up tomorrow. We still need volunteers to help us get that off the ground. So call Michelle in the office, let her know that you're interested in giving two or three hours to help out those who are in need in the community. We'll keep you safe as you work the pantry. We're using all the safety measures we can to make sure it's safe for us and for the folks who we serve. And I wanna thank you for being so great about your giving. Your generosity has been incredible. Uh, we're in a really good position compared to a lot of churches who are sadly having a difficult time even paying the bills. And that's because you've continued to give. You can keep sending checks into the church or you can give online at bradenton.church slash give. Let's remember folks that Jesus ushers the Holy Spirit into our lives as an advocate, but also as a guide. For our part, we need to let him guide us. We need to let Jesus guide us by the Spirit so we can follow him and ignore the trappings that are all over this world so that we can be Christ-like in word and in deed. 
The Holy Spirit does that. The Holy Spirit guides us. What a gift. I look forward to seeing you next time on This Week with Pastor Dino. That's all I've got for now. It's going to be special next week. Stay tuned and you'll see what I'm talking about, all right? We'll catch you then. Thank you.